Clear the Shelters is coming up soon at the Animal Care Campus. We'll get details on that in a moment. But first, let's meet our Pets of the Week, available now at the Animal Care Campus. Michael Whiteside is with the DFW Humane Society. Hey, Michael, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Thomas? Doing great. Thank you. And you have a bonded pair to talk about first today. We do. It's a pair of incredible girls named Baby and Sarah. And these two, probably if you looked at them separately, you would think they are the most unlikely pair. Baby is a small little terrier mix. Sarah is a larger retriever mix. Kind of reminds me of like a Mutt and Jeff kind of situation with the two of them. But they are so sweet and they really rely on each other. They were together about three years and they were surrendered because their owner had some health issues. So when they're not together, Sarah kind of likes to pace, kind of looking for baby. And then baby gets really nervous um, when she's by herself. But when you put them together, um, they just feed off of each other and they are just incredible dogs. They're super friendly. They just want to be loved and give some love back. And they're going to make a great pair for anybody that is able to take in two at the same time. Yeah, maybe a tough choice for a family to take two dogs, but you, I can understand you definitely want to see them go home together. So let's yeah. talk next about Calvin. Yeah, so Calvin is an incredible, fun-loving dog. He has been really great when we use him for, we introduce him to other dogs to see how they interact together. And he's kind of been our go-to dog for some of these testing because he just gets along with every dog that he meets. And he learns really quickly. He enjoys any type of dog that he plays with. And then he enjoys just kind of running around, doing his little zoomies around the yard and then coming over and getting some scratches and some love from the humans that are out there with them. He's about a year and a half old and he's just an active dog so he's just it'd be great for a yard for him or somebody that's really active and they can get him some exercise and really let him run around and get some of that energy out now let's talk clear the shelters the annual campaign started in irving and really took off once the partnership was established with nbc so tell me what we can look forward to this year yeah, so this year we're going to be doing a lot of the same thing that we did last year instead of doing the single day big event the entire adoption promotion will be a week-long event. It's going to be September 14th through 18th. And that entire week, every animal here at the Irving Animal Care Campus will be free to adopt. And we have a lot of great animals right now. I'm sure we'll have just as many, if not more, by then. And so it'll be a great time to really help us definitely clear the shelters because all the shelters are getting full right now. And so any help we can get to get these dogs and cats out of here is definitely needed. What is the impact you have seen over the years in actually clearing the shelter and also raising awareness? Really, almost every year that we've been involved, we really have gotten almost to full emptiness in the shelter after this event. So it's really helped to free up some space in the shelter, get homes, especially for some of the long-term dogs that end up going home and clear the shelters and long-term cats. But again, it, like you mentioned with the awareness, you know, people are learning more and more about how shelters operate and how much they need their support whether it's through adoption or through other means by donations or fostering. And they're getting to know more about the staff and the volunteers. And we've seen a lot of volunteers come through out of Clear the Shelters. And so it really just kind of gets the word out about animal welfare and shelter world. Yeah, and I know y'all always have needs at the DFW Humane Society and at Irving Animal Services all across the Animal Care Campus. So this is a great time to learn more or adopt a pet. Thanks so much, Michael. Thanks, Thomas. The Animal Care Campus is located at 4140 Valley View Lane. Check out the websites you see on your screen for hours and to see more adoptable animals.